okay hi guys welcome to this uh, new video of binary beast so this will be a playlist of a flutter web series and in this series we will be explaining and i, I will be explaining you uh, how to make this so this will be our final product i'll just explain you in a nutshell what it is so this is a dynamically loading uh, usage of a uh, flutter using the block pattern and we have used the i think we have used omdb as api i don't remember that's so, okay we have used the movie db as our api and here we will be learning various components like these are all different components okay this is the one component this is the tab bar is another component so everything will be like professionally done because when i was initially coding uh, the small application okay the one page application it was simply that you know you do everything in one spot but last week i explored a little bit about uh, what is actually block pattern and the results are that when you are developing something which ex which is expected to be uh, used in larger scale okay then there are lots of features and lots of things which are to be added in that component and initially when there are only few developers who are coding out there it's okay but when there are multiple projects multiple testings and everything is done on that single project at that point it's like we need to have a proper structure so it's better to follow that from the initial level and it would be great okay so <clears throat> this is what we will be building um uh, so let's get started i think if you want to see this again i can reload this i like this okay i like to reload this because i like to see that spinners <laughs> i like to see this that's it okay then fine let's get started i'm just setting down this thing and also one more thing <clears throat> okay so here's the temporary thing that like here's the starting thing that we have i'll just run this and if you want to know how to convert like i'm not showing the steps for installing the flutter you can easily get that from the official source if you want i can you know just uh, and you can download the official source a uh, source from here but if you want to just you know uh, have a quick glance at how to run flutter web from whatever i've installed right here it just said you need to follow this three steps to get it started and it's boom it will be working so moving back to our project this is the initial slate that we have let it load <clears throat> just a minute and then we will write straight through what we have to do okay okay so this is the initial you know the basic template that we have nothing special okay so <clears throat> uh, let's say that you know i want to really want to utilize both of this but i'll show you from time to time whatever we have will be doing here because it's not possible to show both the screens down the same screen okay so i'll be having one screen over here so let's see that what we are going first of all let me just explain you one thing that in block structure whenever you are encountering something in block just remember that you know you will have a few things there will be a let's say that there will be a model there will be a repo and there will be a block and there will be a widget okay so just try to set this blocks in your mind i'm not telling you to remember anything okay but see how the structure works model means that whenever you are searching something from api it will result in a particular form okay so let's say the api that we are using result something in this okay so let's say that if i am firing a query so this query is uh, like this query is the api the movie db that we'll be using okay so here when we are firing this query we are getting the results in the form of json okay so in this json we cannot change the name of this 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 because it's a third party that we are using it's not ours so for that we generally use model so that we can use it accordingly now that model now there it might be possible that you know this is for getting the genres now there is a api for getting the recently playing movies there will be an api for getting the actors there will be an api for getting any other stuff there are many api endpoints that we will be using we should have a common endpoint where we can call all this so that's why we use repo in repo there are multiple models out there it might be possible there are there are cross n that means that you know there are n there can be n models and all of the models will be associated with one repo and that one repo will have multiple blocks there will be n blocks and 
widgets are also there there are multiple widgets out there there are n n widgets and all the n widgets might use any block as their endpoint okay so sounds a little bit complex while just seeing this but trust me this same image i will put on after some time when we have explored two components and then i'll again let you see this image and then you will able to completely understand this so let's get started so initially this is just a home screen which is encounter like redirects us to here we don't want this so i'm just changing this to our home screen this is the home screen currently it's not there because we have not yet declared this so i'm just copying this there you go and we can say that make one home screen for us there you go so if you are a flutter and if you have proper extension then you can you don't have to write anything okay it will be done for you so let's say this this and this so this is a basic boiler code that we have for setting a stateful widget so if you don't know there are two types of widget out there there's a stateful widget and there's a stateless widget now why do we use a stateful widget i'm using this because i want to change different components at various points initially that component loaded will be empty but as soon as it gets the data from the api endpoint i want it to reload again that's why i'm using the stateful widget so in here if i just save this then if you want to see the result it will be something like we will not have all this stuff let's restarting okay i'm not saved this so sorry <laughs> if you go out there if you save the screen if you save this then you will see nothing i mean that it will be a blank slate there's nothing seriously there's nothing okay so let's just format this and then we can end this video right here we will be doing the there will there will be like every video will be you know like a 10 10 minutes or something because you also should not get bored okay so this is the blank slate that we have i'm just changing this so let's say that we are having first of all scaffold scaffold means there will be a there will be a that a like professional looking app bar out there okay what is generally used for the title bar i'll just explain you what i meant from it what do you want to name this let's name it clover i am a huge anime fan by the way that's why i'm naming it it's like that <laughs> okay so that everything is cool there is a now a, like a app bar which is named as clover i want it to be the first of all i i don't want this i want this to be removed so in the uh, main dot what you can do is that just go on here and just write debug and false and just save this and you can see now it's gone so here uh, <clears throat> let's just start with what we have to do i can just you know send it title through so it becomes like a center line for us that's it and i want its color to be a uh, slightly different i want it to be black <laughs> that's not a color that one would opt for but i want it black the color is black and uh, yeah that's it i think let's see what how it looks now okay yeah it looks like okay okay and there's nothing out there so and let's say that uh, i'm just increasing the font size a little bit style <clears throat> textile is let's make it 24 okay let's see come on man yeah now it's cool so if you want there is a if you want there has to be like a you know a navigation button and there's be search button you can do that it's pretty uh straight forward in flutter and that's why i like flutter everything is like so simple i mean we can do whatever we want here let's just do the leading <clears throat> and if you want let's say uh, like whatever you want okay it's not like you want to keep it this so i can uh i usually use the i don't know i am using the ev icons i can show you what it is i don't know what symbol it will look like just a minute Yeah, it's taking time, man. No, no, I don't want definitely. I want the burger. I want the burger item. Okay, I'll show you which icon I want. So if that's available, we can use that. <clears throat> Just a minute. I think we can get that. It's called as menu to outline. Okay, that's the name I forgot. There you go. Menu to outline, and we can see here. We can have a button out there. It doesn't do anything right now. And also, I want a search button here. So. just to action and we can you know 
write a few things out there just a minute yep there you go <clears throat> we can write a button for icon button and initially we can what we can do is that for icon there is a search button so icon uh, let's use a icon and uh, and for all the viewers out there you might not get the a icon so just a minute uh, i think search would work uh, and also if you don't get the a icons out there i have used a uh, here's my pub spec yaml so i have used this certain libraries in my project so for a icons you can use this thing and this is a version that's currently out there now if you want to know the current version what we can do is that you know just go through here search this and here you can see that <clears throat> there will be a recent version out there in installing steps you can just copy this and paste it in a pubspec yaml and it will be good to go okay so let me just uh, if you know there is a search bar out there it's not the color is in black i think so what we can do is that uh, there you go search first of all that is not null i mean that it should be available out there so i'm just saving this yeah so you can see this but the okay so there you have the search icon out there there you have the search icon out there you can press the button you have the navigation bar and it, this will be completely responsive so that you know you whatever the size of screen may be it will adjust accordingly so we have the navigation bar ready now in the like if you want to move ahead out there in the app bar just use this and just go out there body and we can just you know start now your uh, there will be a list view there you go and our first component that will be making in the next video thank you for watching for so far in the next component we will be making the now playing which will be having like a you know, poster look out there so the user can know which movies are running now and yeah that's it thank you so much